This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2017 Sunset Trail, model 32BH. Okay, so we'll go around the outside here. You have an outside kitchen. Okay. Um, this has uh, power stabilizer jacks on it for the front and the rear. Okay. Has a power awning. This up here, this is your vent for your range hood. If you're gonna if you're gonna vent to the outside using the range hood, make sure you open the baffles on this and let it flat freely. Like I said, outside speakers, power awning, you got a antenna out, power, and a TV bracket. Alrighty. This in here is is a or is a um, grill bracket, a swing out bracket for the rear bunker bumper. Apparently the previous owner took it off but you can have it in case you want to use it. Um, okay, you have a deep cycle marine battery, two, although they're not on, they're being filled right now, two 30-pound uh, LP tanks, power tongue jack. All right. Um, your furnace is an Atwood, or I mean, your, sorry, your water heater is an Atwood, and you can see it's drained right now. There's the plug there, and there's the drain hole. It's winterized right now, so the water's drained out. The switch is operator on the inside. Always make sure that uh, there's water in the water heater tank before you turn it on. So the most common way to get water in this trailer is the city water hookup right here. Okay. Um, if you uh, are at a campground that does not have plumbing on the campsites, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank here and use the onboard pump to pump the water. Okay. You have two slide outs, one bunk room slide out, and then your main slide out. Uh, that is just an outside shower. You got your 30 amp power cord um, and your dump valves. The black one is on the right, the gray one is on the left, it appears. Yes. Okay. Always dump the black one first, which is toilet water and waste. Then dump the, dump the gray one. The gray one is uh, cleaner, <laughs> cleaner, dirty water than the black water, so you just help to rinse things out. Now after you dump your black tank, you can leave the valve open and you can actually hook a hose up to here, this, this flush valve here, and you can uh, flush the black tank out um, and uh, clean it out even better. So that's, it's really a good, a good thing to use. Okay, you have ladder so you can, ins you can inspect the roof, to try to get up there every 90 days or so and take a look at it, make sure all the, uh, the seals are nice and tight, no separation or cracking. Okay. Okay, we're still cleaning up in here for you, so we'll work around. This is your um, your control panel right here. So you can see you you have a you have a a, a, a fireplace space heater. So. Uh, you can't run this fire, the fireplace space heater and the microwave at the same time. You have to switch, flip the switch and, and select whichever one you want to use. Um, there goes the fireplace right there. Okay. Um, you check your tank levels like this. See your battery's charged. Your fresh water's empty. Your black water's empty. Your gray water's empty. It graduates up in one third increment. So when it gets past two thirds, you got to start thinking about dumping it. You turn on your water pump. It's right here. Your water heater to light on gas is right here. Electric is right there. Like I stated outside, make sure you have water in the tank before you light it. These are your lights here. Okay, and this is your power awning switch right here. These are your slide rooms right here. Uh, this one and this one. So uh, uh, that's where you control just about everything from your sound system. It, it plays discs. Um, it's, uh, you can also stream off this USB here. And I'm not sure if this one is new enough to have Bluetooth or not. Let me look here. Oh, yeah, it has Bluetooth also, so you can hook up wirelessly with your uh, phone or your tablet. Okay. The uh, bedroom area is just self-explanatory. Um, the escape window is right over there. You're going to open that, open the latch on the bottom and push it through, and then you would grab hold of the yellow, or, excuse me, the red tab and pull the red tab and pull the screen out, okay? All right. 
You have a hide a bed here, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, so you take the cushions off. This folds out into a three panel hide a bed. Uh, also, you can drop this table down and use the back cushions to fill in the, the, the uh, empty spot where the table is and turn this into a bed also. So you got actually two more beds out here. Your refrigerator is a gas absorption refrigerator, meaning it'll run on 110 AC or LP gas. So to light it on, on electric, you're always going to push auto. The reason they call it auto is because it automatically will select electricity if it finds it. If it can't find it, it'll automatically switch to gas. So even if, even if you're, you're, let's say you've gone exploring for the day, and you, it's a really hot day and the, the uh, campground power goes out, it'll, auto, it'll sense that and automatically switch over to gas for you so it don't spoil the food. Now if you, want it, if you want to dedicate it to gas just going down the road, you can go like that if you choose to. Um, but normally just keep it right on auto. Okay. Your range, you just, it has a sparker on it. We don't have the gas tanks hooked up because they're filling them right now, so I'll just walk you through it. You're just going to turn a, this to light, and then you spark it clockwise. When you do that, they'll, they'll light. Now the oven is a little different. It looks like it's never been used, which is not uncommon, because it is kind of small. But back there is a pilot light, all the way on the bottom, all the way to the back. So what you'll do is, if you want to light it, you'll go to pilot, just like that, all right? Then you depress it and hold it. You keep it depressed. Then with the other hand, you take a grill lighter and light the pilot light back there. After it lights, you're still depressing this. Um, you go to hold it for another 10 seconds, so then you go to operating temperature and it cycles like a regular oven. But once you um, turn it off, the flame goes off, but so does the, so does the pilot, okay? All right, let me see what else we've got here. This is your carbon dioxide and LP gas detector there. It should always be green like it is. Okay. Somewhere here is a power converter. Let me find it. Must be in the kids in the bunk room. Okay. This is your thermostat right here. It's just an analog thermostat. It's self-explanatory. Try to keep the fan on auto all the time. And then you can select heat or cool or just fan, um, like so. Okay, let me squeak right through here, uh, Amanda. Okay, so you see the bunk room. So you have a, a fold-down bunk here, obviously, another permanent bunk there, and then this sofa jackknifes down to another, another uh, bed. It's a jackknife, let me see. No, this actually folds out, so it's actually a nice, it's a, it's a fold out, so it's actually nicer than a, just a jackknife. Uh, of course, you got TV, potential TV, and your, your hookups are right up there, so you got everything you need there. Let me just look and see what else we have. Okay, still haven't found the power converter, Amanda. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Let me see. Uh, where did they put that darn thing? Be right out, usually right out in this room, but I'll find it as soon as I come across it. I'll let you know that I found it. Okay, so there's nothing under there. Aha! Here we go. So this is the power converter right here. So what this does, it converts 110 AC into 12 uh, over to 12 volt DC. So on this side, you got regular 110 volt uh, AC circuit breakers, like you would have at home, and they're all labeled. Then it converts the power to 12 volt DC over here. And you've got 12 volt fuses that are labeled. Okay, if any of those fuses ever blow, they'll actually light up and you can see them glowing through this plastic here. And uh, while you're plugged in, this will sense how much energy your battery needs up front and keep it charged. So it's also a battery tender when you're plugged in. So, okay. And last but not least, the bathroom works like any sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. The thing is, the toilet, you have to have. Um, you have to have uh, water and chemical in it to start using it. So, if you're going to, um, if you're going to, once you get to the cave your black tank is empty, you're going to dump your chemical right in here, whichever brand you use, put one dose in there. Then you'll step on the pedal. Water will come swirling out, and you'll stand on the pedal until you put about a gallon of water in the tank. There's no way to tell exactly what that is, but you just use common sense and uh, put some water in there with chemical. Okay? All right. Okay, I think that covers it. 
So thank you for purchasing your trailer at National RV Detroit. Remember what I said about um, inspecting the roof. That's important. So keep an eye on the roof and all the seals on the side of the trailer. Any place you see caulk from the factory. Okay. And um, as I said, thank you very much.